What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Q Media. Today we're going to be doing a couple of aesthetic changes to the car. I've got some red Honda badges for the front, rear and steering wheel. I'm going to be debadging the back of the Accord as well as installing a spoiler on the Accord. So let's get started. Let's get started with the Accord badge right now. What you're going to need is a heat gun and some floss. What you, and what you're going to do first is gently heat up the badges. Once you heat them up enough that they kind of start wiggling, you're going to take some floss here and start wiggling them in between the letters. All right, once you've got your letters off, you'll have some adhesive left over. Just go ahead and start peeling that off a little bit and then we're gonna clean it up with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. What you're gonna do next is take some isopropyl alcohol, get that on a towel or microfiber of some sort, and just go ahead and clean down the area of all the adhesive. Just go back over it with some quick detailer here just to get everything cleaned up and go ahead and wipe that down. And so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process for the 2.0 badge on the bottom and the touring badge. And then after that, I'll go ahead and show you how to remove the Honda emblem. Alright, so that's the rear badges out. Um, you can probably see in the middle of that I just yanked them out. If you get it hot enough, you can just do that. But now we're gonna move on to the Honda badge itself. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we're still gonna heat it up with the heat gun, but I'm gonna take a plastic pry tool and kind of pry it out because I believe there are two holes holding this badge in and the heat gun will just kind of help soften it up a little bit to pull out. Now we'll go with our pry tool and kind of try to get inside. And the two clips, I believe, are back here in the middle. So you just heard that pop. That's one. And there you go. It's actually just, there is no adhesive back here. Um, there wasn't really a point of heating that up other than just to make it a little more malleable. But yeah, you have these two clips holding it back here. And they go on like that. And you just pop them out with a trim tool. Um, yeah. This one wasn't the cleanest pull. You can see that I bent this a little bit, but not to worry, we'll have emblems replacing this. But that's how you get the front ones out. They're held on with two clips here. Um, if you can get a thinner piece of pry tool, this one was a little too thick to get in. If you have a thinner one, you could probably get in here easier behind these clips and pop them out without bending your badge. But if you're replacing them, then shouldn't be too big of a worry. All right, so you've got the badges here. You've got the steering wheel one, the rear emblem, and the front emblem. All these were bought over at XGen Auto. I'll put a link in the description. But let's go ahead and get on the rear ones and then the front ones. And then I'll show you how to get on the steering wheel one. All right, so with the rears, what you'll wanna go ahead and do is clean the mating surface a bit with some isopropyl alcohol it's all good nice and clean and once you've prepped the rear you'll see that these come with some 3m tape on the back before putting it on just line it up here and make sure it actually fits the size of this hole 
And now that we've confirmed it, we'll go ahead and peel off the backing. And once you've got it in a good spot, go ahead and press down and apply pressure. Apply this pressure for about 30 seconds. And there you go. You have a emblem on the back of your car. Here's how that looks. Now, let's hop over to the front and get that done as well. Alright, so I have the badge in. I'm not gonna lie, this one caused me a bit of issue because I have this overlay on it. This would be easier if you didn't have this overlay on and because of that it wouldn't slot in easy and cause a bit of cracking here um but it it still fits it's just not to the standard or quality that i would have liked but it works for now so we'll, we'll have to just run with it okay so before we get the steering wheel one on since we're gonna have to press on the airbag what we're gonna do is remove the horn fuse here which if you look at your fuse cover, it's number 28 here, which correlates to this 10 amp fuse right here. So same process as before, we'll go ahead and wipe down that steering wheel with some isopropyl alcohol and, yep, horns off. And then we'll go ahead and stick it on. So yeah, that's how you install the three badges for your Honda that you get from X-Gen Auto. Next up, we'll go ahead and install the rear spoiler. That'll be coming in in a few days, so it'll be a bit of a time cut. Hello, welcome back. Today, we're gonna wrap up the aesthetic mods on our car with a nice rear spoiler. So let's go ahead and unbox it. And then what we're gonna do is prep the surface with some quick detail and wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol. And then stick this bad boy on. Let's get it open. So here's the test fit of it. I haven't stick it, stuck it down with 3M tape yet, but we're just gonna line it up and see where it fits. Looking a little further back, I think it's a nice look. Wraps it up a little bit. But now I'm gonna want a diffuser now that we've got the swing on it. But yeah, let's go ahead and clean up this surface and then get it mounted. All right, so we've got our 3M tape here and we're just gonna wrap it all around the perimeter here and then cut it to length. As you're applying it, make sure you give it some good pressure to get it stuck on the spoiler itself. And then just kind of pull it a little bit make sure you get it lined up along the edges as far out as you can. All right, now that I've got one edge done, I'm gonna do the same for the left side. Do a little bit here, and then the rest on the inside here. All right, so this is how I've laid out the 3M tape. Um, especially generous with these corners here so it doesn't lift up but they've got it pretty much throughout the entire perimeter and now we're gonna go ahead and clean up our trunk and get this stuck on there All right, so a little trick I like to do when uh, applying anything with 3M tape is to peel off a little bit of it and so that once you stick it down you have a little wiggle room and then once you're sure you can just peel it off like that so let's go ahead and do that and show you what I mean. All right, so now that we're happy with how the layout of it is, go ahead and peel up this side like so.
stick that down and then get the rest of it off. Push it down like that. And then just give it good firm pressure all around to make sure it's seated. Just push down on it for about 30 seconds or so. gonna do it for this video uh, let me know what you guys think of all the aesthetic changes we've done so far uh, I've got the black front grille the red emblem badges all around and now the rear spoiler and I think it's made the car look more aggressive and I really do like the look of it I'm 50 50 on whether or not I should get a diffuser for it I'm leaning more towards getting one just to round out the rear look but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on my Instagram account, links down below. I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.